Have you ever wondered what role prayer truly plays in our lives? This question has been a focal point for many discussions and debates worldwide, across cultures, societies, and religions. From the quiet, solitary whispers of a single person to the harmonized chorus of a congregation, prayer is a universal practice, a shared human experience that transcends borders and beliefs. It's as diverse as the myriad cultures of our world, yet fundamentally, it's a deeply personal act of communication, a dialogue with the divine, the universe, or one's own inner self. In many cultures, prayer is not just a spiritual practice, but a social one helping to bind communities together. It gives us a sense of belonging, a feeling of unity and connection. It's a shared language, a common thread that weaves through the fabric of our societies, strengthening our collective identity. On a personal level, prayer offers comfort and solace. It's a refuge in times of distress, a beacon in the darkness. It provides hope, a sense of purpose, a way to cope with life's challenges. It's a tool for introspection, for self-examination, for finding clarity amidst the chaos of our thoughts. And then there's the belief held by many that prayer can bring about tangible changes in the world, that it can influence events, heal illnesses, even alter the course of history. It's a belief that imbues prayer with a sense of power, of agency, of potential. But what if we could move beyond belief? What if we could explore this age-old practice through the lens of science? Could we quantify the effects of prayer? Could we measure its impact? Could we dissect its mechanisms, unravel its mysteries, and gain a deeper understanding of its role in our lives? These are the questions that have intrigued scientists, philosophers, and thinkers throughout history. And as we delve deeper into this subject, we'll explore how science and spirituality intersect, how they can inform and enlighten each other. But what if science could shed light on the effectiveness of prayer? Now that's a thought to ponder, isn't it? As we continue this journey, let's keep our minds open, our curiosity piqued, and our spirits eager to learn. What does science have to say about prayer? The question may seem simple, but the answer is far from straightforward. The relationship between the realms of faith and science has always been a complex one, with both fields attempting to explain the world around us in different ways. The scientific study of prayer is a great example of this intersection. Historically, scientists have been intrigued by the phenomenon of prayer, the idea of a connection, a communication, between the human mind and a higher power is a tantalizing concept. However, studying something as personal and subjective as prayer presents a unique set of challenges. Firstly, how do you measure the impact of a prayer? The answers to prayers if they come are often not tangible or quantifiable. They might be a feeling of peace, a changed perspective, or an unexpected opportunity. How can such outcomes be measured or compared? Secondly, prayer is a deeply personal experience. It varies from person to person and even from day to day for the same individual. Some people may pray silently, others out loud, some may use specific words and phrases, while others speak from the heart. This diversity makes it difficult to establish a standardized method for studying prayer. Another aspect to consider is the placebo effect. This is a well-documented psychological phenomenon where a person experiences a perceived improvement in condition due to their belief in the treatment rather than the treatment itself. Could the perceived answers to prayers be a result of the placebo effect? Could our belief in the power of prayer influence our perception of its effectiveness? These questions and more have puzzled scientists for decades, but despite the challenges, one study sought to delve into the enigma of prayer and its effects. Despite these challenges, one study managed to produce some intriguing results. In 2006, a study published in the American Heart Journal aimed to test the power of prayer. This wasn't just any study, mind you, it was a comprehensive decade-long examination that involved 1,800 heart surgery patients. Yes, you heard that right, 1,800 people who were about to undergo one of the most life-changing experiences one can have. So how did it all work? The researchers divided the patients into three groups. The first group was prayed for, but they were not aware of the prayers. These prayers were offered by strangers who only knew the patient's first names and the start dates of their surgeries. The second group was also prayed for, but in this case, the patients were informed about the prayers. The third group served as the control group. They were not prayed for, and they were aware of this fact. In this setup, the prayers came from members of three Christian congregations who were asked to pray for a successful surgery with a quick healthy recovery and no complications for each patient in the first and second groups. 
The prayers started the night before the surgery and continued daily for two weeks post-surgery. The researchers went to great lengths to ensure the integrity of the study. They created a strict protocol for the prayers, even providing a standard prayer for the participants. They also ensured that the prayers were performed in a similar manner across all congregations and they carefully monitored the process to ensure compliance. The intention was to create a real-world scenario in a controlled environment. By doing this, they hoped to gain a clearer understanding of the impact of prayer on health outcomes, particularly for those undergoing heart surgery. It was a bold, ambitious endeavor, one that sought to bridge the gap between science and faith. This was a study like no other, one that stirred up a lot of interest and controversy. After all, it promised to provide an answer to a question that has puzzled humanity for centuries. Does prayer actually work? So what were the results? The results of this study were surprising, to say the least. Now let's get into the nitty-gritty of what these findings mean. The study was designed to test the impact of prayer on the recovery of patients, splitting them into three distinct groups. Those who were prayed for and knew it, those who were prayed for but didn't know it, and those who were not prayed for at all. As the data rolled in, scientists were left scratching their heads. Contrary to what many might expect, there was no significant difference in recovery rates or complications between the three groups. Yes, you heard it right. Whether someone was prayed for or not seemed to have no measurable impact on their physical health outcomes, but here's where it gets even more intriguing. The group that knew they were being prayed for actually experienced a slightly higher rate of complications, a twist that certainly wasn't anticipated. Now, this doesn't mean that knowing about prayers caused these complications. Correlation, as we know, is not causation, but it does raise some interesting questions about the psychological effects of knowing that others are praying for you. Surprised? You're not alone. These results have sent ripples through both scientific and religious communities alike. It's a reminder that what we assume to be true may not always align with the realities laid bare by rigorous scientific investigation. But let's be clear. This study doesn't discredit the personal, emotional, or spiritual value many individuals derive from prayer. It merely challenges the widely held belief that prayer can directly influence physical health outcomes in a measurable way. So what does this mean for the role of prayer? It's a question we're left to ponder. Is prayer's true power found not in physical healing, but in the comfort, hope, and connection it offers to those who practice it? But that, dear listeners, is a conversation for another time. For now, let's continue to explore the fascinating intersection of faith and science. Does this mean that prayer has no place in our lives? Now, that's a question that's bound to stir up a whirlwind of thoughts. But let's tread carefully and unpack what this study truly implies. Firstly, it's crucial to remember that this research primarily focused on prayer's physical influence, and the findings suggest that it may not directly alter the course of events or conditions in our physical world. However, this doesn't necessarily mean that prayer lacks value or significance. Consider the psychological and emotional aspects of prayer. Many people find solace and comfort in prayer, using it as a tool to express their deepest fears, hopes, and gratitude. It offers a sense of peace, a moment of reflection, and an opportunity to tap into our innermost thoughts. This emotional release and the resulting serenity can have profound effects on our mental well-being, and that's something the study doesn't discount. Moreover, let's not forget about the communal aspect of prayer. It can foster a sense of unity and shared purpose, strengthening bonds within communities. This collective experience, in turn, can lead to increased social support, a key factor in promoting overall happiness and well-being. So, while the study might suggest that prayer doesn't have a tangible impact on the physical world, it doesn't diminish the psychological, emotional, and social benefits that prayer can provide. It's important to remember that this study is not an ultimate verdict. It's merely a piece of the puzzle, a stepping stone in our ongoing quest to understand the intricate dynamics of faith, belief, and spirituality. Science continues to unfold and more research is needed before we reach any definitive conclusions. Perhaps future studies will shed further light on this complex and deeply personal subject matter. In the end, the power of prayer may lie more in the faith of the believer than in the act itself. It's the faith that fuels the spirit the faith that empowers us and perhaps it's this faith that ultimately makes a difference.